Hello? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, that's helpful. But I can see how loud you are. Tell me about your day. Hello? Uh, I've been watching your stream since uh, like uh, 1 p.m. Didn't really okay. do much. All right, sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna have a black mage practice in an hour and a half. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Good. Well, let's see if we can uh, get you a little bit more prepped and on the way for that. <coughs> Sound good? Yeah. So are you uh, full steam into Black Mage practice right now? Uh, I already cleared it last month. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Okay. It was like, um, like five days before the month end. And I didn't mm -hmm. really have a party, so I made my own party with like people from Discord. Mm -hmm. and then that, you make it sound easier than it is, I think. <laughs> I think a lot of people struggle to make black mage parties out of thin air. Yeah, it was quite stressful because uh, the bishops, they bailed on me. They all bailed on me. Mm -hmm. The day before the real run, they just left. Oof. They got a fill run somewhere else and... <laughs> I don't know uh, what happened, but yeah, it's just enough. And those bishops, unreliable. But you still managed to clear it? We got a cannon to fill, so it was... Uh... Mm -hmm. And then a lot of the guys are already liberated. Oh, just I see. random okay. people, but they're already mm -hmm. really strong. Gotcha, they're just trying to get some ring boxes. Right? Yeah. I, if you already lived. I have no clue. It's just random people. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's once you like libbed, a lot of the parties kind of either like fall apart or they reconstitute as like half parties where you're like carrying someone else's person. You know, like you have like three attackers and three people getting carried for their second lib and and the other way around. But some parties also just kind of like fall apart when you're done and you're liberated, and then. Yeah, there's still good value in running the boss, right? The crystal isn't that much worth if you're doing a full party, but uh, you, there's a good chance you don't have like roar 4, weapon jump 4, that kind of stuff yet, or continuous 4. So there's still always good value in in keep on running so you can get a very high level rank, uh, ring box. Yeah. One of the person who liberated got a continuous 4 on my run, so it was... There you go, yeah. That's, uh, that's worth running for. And since it's only once a month, some t a lot of times people leave it to last minute, and then they'll still have their run available. So you have the the first quest done, quote unquote, and now the the real liberation starts this month. Yeah, now it's uh, Carrium, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you're you're are you gonna run this month again with like mostly the same people, or is it gonna be completely no, different? No, it's or? completely new team. Completely new. I gotcha. just made another team. Yeah. I gotcha. You just made another team. Wow, you, a lot of people seem to struggle very much with this, but you, you seem to just pull out. So where do you uh, where do you find your people? Maybe you can give some tips to people. I always say uh, find... The first month is just people from the Black Mage Discord. A lot of mm -hmm. people are just looking for a team, and I DM all of the people who wanted a team. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't that hard, I think, because it's like people want to join a run. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have to do much. Um it's mostly finding the bishop is the hardest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Finding specific uh, I support, think yeah. When I was farming on a couple maps, I saw a bishop immediately start uh, chatting to them. <laughs> 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 Your you buddy list is like 60 yeah, bishops yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Just talking to random bishops. <laughs> yep, yep. Socializing, how was that? Was that scary? Uh, not really. Oh really? Okay, okay. Not really. That's not supposed to be, so that's good. Okay, um, but you got a full party, and you guys are going to practice in a bit. So hopefully, uh, you can yeah, kind of yeah. tell if if everyone is somewhat on the same level. Is it? Do you know if anyone is like already liberated, or is everyone really just starting? Uh, this team I know quite well because it's like half of them are from either my guild okay. or my uh, alliance. Mm -hmm. uh, none of them are liberated. This is like the first or second month of running. Gotcha. Um, 
but a lot of them are really strong. It's like two guys of 58k and, and 50 something k, but haven't done a black mage run yet. Mm -hmm. So they're really strong without like uh, actual experience. So I'm just practicing mm -hmm. to help them get some experience as well. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot of people will just kind of be like, you know, I can still liberate later, and then maybe they try a few times and are like, okay, this is too hard for me. But if you keep playing, your stat will just keep going up and up and up. And then eventually you're like, well, I should probably start liberating because it's going to take so much longer. <laughs> <laughs> and then they start liberating. Uh, some people start liberating at like 28k stat and some people have 58k stat. It's a little bit all over the place. But yeah, if you have experience from a previous character, you can definitely transfer that over, of course. If, you're, if you can be a good shot caller or if you're a good support, then, you know, that can still give a good value to the to the team okay so that's that that's taking up uh that's probably going to be taking up quite a bit of time right the practice runs and everything so what else do you do these days uh, progression so far is really fast because mm -hmm. this is my hyper one it's been like two and a half months and my previous characters only did up to a normal login so somehow from a normal login now it's just two and a half months later. I'm just doing black mage. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of bosses that I have to practice, and then now I'm gonna be practicing for duo uh, hard Luwil and uh, gloom and the healer C10 in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those all like open up uh, around the same time. Yeah, so now I'm like practicing for four or five bosses at the same time. Have you done the like normal versions of all those bosses already? No, I just skipped straight to hard mode. <laughs> so to hard mode, okay. Yeah, I mean it's the same, it's the same idea, but yeah, usually a lot of the things do a little bit more damage. Or like for hard lucid, of course, you got the P3, but if you're gonna go for the hard modes anyway, so that means you're going into arcanes, and you don't have any of those yet. Uh, I have four arcanes. Yeah, four arcanes. So how did you get those? You must I have been running a little bit. Seven, eight boxes. Okay. Well, that's one way no, to, I already to did switch a to lot of, uh, I did a lot of uh, hard blue wheel. I'm talking about duoing hard blue wheel. Yeah, yeah, so with duoing, yeah. That's a pretty big step. I mean, yeah, if you go six-man party, it's probably a joke, right? So. Yeah. And if you want to... Yeah, I always thought that for hard... Well, it's a little bit class dependent, but if you want to make sure that you have like all the damage required for Black Mage, if you can actually be pretty close to or able to solo hard lucid, I always thought that was a pretty good indicator to know that you definitely have the damage to... But they added six job and everything, so now that is a little bit all over the place. It used to be a pretty good uh, pretty good measure measuring stick, I think. But uh, yeah, if you get a whole lot of burst from your six job, then that will just mean that you can do that a lot earlier than other characters, because you know how burst heavy the P three is, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, so your did you sp split off like with your existing party? Did you like like no, split it's it just, into duos um, or? Before it was like usually we go with a guild mm -hmm. so uh, one guy can solo everything and then he just take a bunch of other people meals with him gotcha yeah and but then he he's prior drop point. of course yeah of course yeah yeah <coughs> so you want to enter the pitch waiting room as well yeah officially so much. you start duoing yeah because you can maybe solo but then the runs take forever so it makes more sense to duo, then you can get it done in a reasonable time, and you still have a good chance for drops. Makes sense. Yeah. So you've got your duo partner? Yeah, it's uh, Guilty as well. He's also making a new main, uh, this mm -hmm. uh, Hyperbird. He's like gotcha. 9k Legion, so pretty oh, much yeah. carrying me. <laughs> could do all the characters. Mm. It's like, what character do you want to duo with? <laughs> Spins the roulette wheel, picks one of the characters. Okay, um, so I guess, well, you seem to be pretty far in the game. So what are, are there, are there any specific questions you have that I can help you with today? Uh, I think it's just, where do I go with my gear mostly? And mm -hmm. how do I spend my mesos? Do I spend it on 
passing meals or just spend a lot on the main, I guess. Okay, so what's the um yeah, of course there's a little bit of a little bit. A lot of it of like question marks for like the long to distant future, right? With more than six months out, we don't know for sure how uh, the game is going to get changed. Um, what are the things that are going to move over? Seems pretty reasonable that the final damage change is probably going to go through for uh, for NA and that the Legion um, artifact system, right? That those things are probably going to move over. But whether the crystal price changes and the meso multiplier and all that stuff that's already different for us so you know that aside i guess it's a little bit hard to say what exactly is going to happen there right yeah uh, but i don't know how the insecurity with that kind of stuff has affected you has it affected you in any way does it make you think differently about what you want to do yeah, i just think it's not gonna come to gms and then i think yeah i can stick with that and okay yeah, it is I'm hard to say. About it later, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Sounds reasonable, honestly. Um, yeah, where to spend your so most? So, what did you say? Where to spend your money? And then, yeah, just hear like what your options are. I guess, right? Yeah. Because I don't have a lot of spares. Because uh, mm -hmm. this account is pretty new. Yeah, yeah. You've been kind of time gated on, on backups. Oh, five dummies is still not bad. That gives you some options. I think I got seven dummies from. That's pretty good. Now you just need to get more day breaks, right? Get even I have more. Zero, but, uh, I don't have any. Yeah, it's just a matter of running the bosses. You're running slime and everything? Sea slime? Yes. I uh, got like rolled? one drop from all the runs I did. Then you roll and double meso on your... Yeah, I just roll double meso, so... I Beautiful. Get one? Yeah, get a new one. Lovely game. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's also... Um, I and was going to ask about... Oh. Uh, rolling hybrids on uh, accessories. Mm -hmm. Cause it, yeah, so... it costs a lot, right? Um... Yeah, so yes and no. Um, it's definitely not free, but if you look at the numbers, it's not as bad as you would think because of the because you have a lot of outs. You got double mezzo, double drop, drop mezzo, mezzo drop, um, and then with the bright cubes, it's actually a decent. Um, it's not super super duper pricey, um, so it does come into play decently early if you're trying to make like a a combination set. But I would say you want to make like a regular combination set, you know, like a four and five, and then probably make like a full drop rate set of like nine or ten drop after that, and then probably go back to, you know, upgrading your gear a bunch, and then go into like making a fully like a hybrid set. So for you specifically, as a Nightwalker, you will have to keep track of like how much damage do you need from your, uh, from your set still to be able to keep killing with the bats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other characters that jump around and hit with their full skills, you know, they can fully switch into as much drop and mezzo as they want, like quite a bit earlier, and their kill speed won't get into trouble as much. Uh, but since you're killing with your bats, um, I don't know if you've talked to other Nightwalkers about that, like how strong they stay, like how much stat they stay when they're still in full mobbing gear to keep killing, or if you've done some testing there yourself to see how much damage you need to keep. Uh, my bats are like four shotting right now, which is not the best. I think most people will try to have their bats uh, two to three shot. Mm -hmm. So I still need a little bit more damage to yeah. farm comfortably. And that's with the current, with your current mobbing setup with like these pieces here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the mobbing uh, setup. Um, so there's quite a few pieces here. So which ones do you wear? Uh, the horn tail earring. The... Oh, uh, Zakum face and eye. Mm -hmm. Double drop, uh, dom pendant. 
exp uh, spirit pendant the kana piece and the slime piece right and then the earring yeah that's switched that's lower damage but that's for drop rate extra okay so you also have a do you, or you almost have a set that's like full drop are you uh, working on that if one? I'm farming oh for the item drop set it's 369 if I have everything turned on I'm missing like 40 40 and you have the fam yeah I have the fam Ooh, 35 boss fancy It was like six, my six unique uh, fam, and then got the boss damage. Nice. Well, if you keep that average up, then it'll be done in no time. <laughs> uh, so you got, wait, this is too far. So use these, these alternate, and then these drop or meso. We still have ring slot left then, right? Or do you have damage pieces that have... Uh, damage piece? I have a roll, I think. I'm using a roll. Well, so when you're mobbing, oh, you one use of these them, pieces. Yeah. One of the event ring as well. Event ring uh, in damage set is both damage and as uh, drop gear. Ah. Oh, yeah. And the other one is Mezzo. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But because they're 21 luck and 21 luck. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so you have... Uh, so you built around the ring and the dominator. So your drop rate set is 5 and 6? Yes. 5 Mezzo, six. 6 drop. Yeah. And then you the other set you have... You have one set as well that's 10 lines a drop? There's only 8 line drop. One, two. I'm missing 40% drop. Four. If I have a full drop rate. Five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah, 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 because you have two pendants. The pendants are all drop item drop rate. Yeah. So that would be... What are you missing that on, on a an extra ring? It's one ring and the um, face, I think. Oh, yeah, the eye, yeah. The yeah, ring and an eye, yeah. Yeah, so the, the question there is if, you, if you're going to actively try to chase double lines. So if you could check, right, legendary. Uh, two lines involving item drop or meso obtained. Like, it's not that bad, right, with bread cubes? Is there on average? 3.6 bill, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I've already spent like 12 bill on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and haven't gotten yeah. one, yeah. <laughs> Good old averages and standard deviations. Um, yeah, so that means the next three cubes, you'll get one in back to back to back, right? <laughs> I think that's how numbers Hopefully. work. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the question is if you're really trying to go for those full sets, uh, which is probably not the worst idea with where you are at. Um, there's probably a few things to work on first to get the damage up just a little bit. Um, but yeah, if you're going to be working on that, then you're automatically going to end up with the set where you get 10 drop as well, right? Um, the big question is, do you try to go for 10 and 5 on 8 equips so that you have the spirit pendant available? If you do that, then you'll need to make 7 double line items and 1 single. And otherwise, mm. you only need to. I don't think I have five enough double. Mesos for that. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm not saying right now, but as as like a plan for the full set, right? Yeah. Very few people have all the money that they need for all of their plans <laughs> in their inventory at the time, right? Um, but if your income is is decent and your like bossing wheels are bringing in enough money, um, I, I guess you want to look a little bit at that, right? Like, where is your money coming from in your account? Is it mostly coming from your bossing mules, or are you grinding it out with the Nightwalker? Because, you know, the grinding is... Usually for Nightwalkers, people like 
it quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. You just press the, the button. The only reason why I chose it. <laughs> okay, okay. So would you say that most of your income in your account right now is coming from your main character? Uh, no, it still comes a lot from bossing meal because I have uh, three bossing meal. Mm -hmm. And half would come from the main. If you count the bossing from the main as bossing meal as well. So the grinding is uh, mm -hmm. it's not as much as uh, boss money. Gotcha. And when you're grinding now, do you prioritize your meso obtain or your drop rate? I have still enough meso to cap it out. And then okay. whatever. And, yeah, and that is much drop. Again. Yeah, so the five and six setup. Or five and five and then with the spirit pendant. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. And with okay. a wap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably yeah, that's probably a good idea for now. Uh, and do you have any plans on working on more bossing mules at all, or do you feel like you're kind of capped on that? Like, do you I feel like you have enough time a, left? I just made a uh, wind archer like today, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not bad, but then yeah, that I sounds super enthusiastic. <laughs> No, because I have to wait until shiny until I can finish the bossing meal. Hmm. Yeah, there's like a the, there's a few different strategies there, right? I like to kind of start the boss meals kind of like weak and work them up to see if I enjoy the play style. Um, and then if I like it, then I will start trickling down the funding from my other characters. You know, extra cubes, extra flames, that kind of stuff. And slowly bring the character up a little by little, like a few nodes here and there. And I kind of see if I if I like it. And that way, if I don't really like it, I can also just leave it and it won't be too bad because you haven't like thrown billions and billions of mesos into it. But if you go more for the, you know, more for like the bulk approach where you're like, okay, I want, I know for sure I want this character, boom, I'm going to spend like 20 bill, get all the potentials up there, I got a star forcing up there, etc. Then you, I think you do feel a bit more uh, forced to play it. Right, because now yeah. it's more it's more visible how much you funded it, invested into the character, and then if you don't, then if you don't keep playing it, then it's going to feel more confrontational. Like, well, now all that money is kind of like wasted in there. So I I don't know which like approach um, just works better for you, but you know you got you got to kind of find there what what works best. But if you're like in the beginning with the bossing mules, then you know once the cubes and the flames are not useful anymore on your most of your characters, then they're kind of just sitting in your storage, right? <coughs> so I like the new. I, have, mm -hmm. I think I have like uh, ten bill right now in the storage. Mm -hmm. Not much, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I can dump all of it on the wind archer right now and get it to normal Lomian uh, boss. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, for right now, there's um, there's a little bit of the question mark of whether there's that extra shining event coming, right? We don't know if we're gonna have to wait until summer or some people are saying like in Korea that there was another um, event, another shining event in between. And then if there is, and then you just spent all your money, then <laughs> that's a little yeah, that's gonna feel awkward, right? Yeah, I'm so, hoping it will come by March. Yeah, so it's one of those things that once you get further into the game, you're always just kind of bulking up money and always kind of saving up so that in case there's an event, you always have some money that you can yank uh, and be like, well, let's just throw, take all that money and spend it all on this thing. But until you get to that point, um, there are a lot of options, right? It's like a whole new boss mule. Is it a little bit more on the boss mules that you can already do to maybe add one or two bosses? Do you save up for like your main character? I don't. Th I want to make sure that you don't lose the momentum on the main character, right? So, going for the double drop and double or double like drop mezzo combination stuff there can definitely be useful. But a lot of the times, what happens is that your accessories will start getting upgraded and some of them will start getting replaced, and then you'll automatically get some pieces that will roll into those functions already of like stronger pieces with more drop and mezzo and it doesn't require you to make 
a lot of extra legendary pieces to get the drop in the mezzo and the combinations and all of that on. It's it feels good to have that set, right? To have that that full set. But like I said, then you still again you have the option of do you go full set? Do you go full set with one extra so that you can take the spirit pendant and still keep like, the full one, right? There's a lot of possibilities there. I want to make sure that you're not losing your kill speed. So I would say to definitely look towards, even towards just regular star forcing, to make sure that you keep a budget available for your main character, like for your CRA, for example. Because you're at, um, what is it, 17, 18, 17. And you've got all the uh, most of the other stuff on 17 as well. So there's some big jumps that you hopefully want to make. Again, you need the backups, right? But there's some big jumps that you want to make in terms of Star Force for all the other pieces there to make sure that you keep your damage going up when you're bossing, but also that you can keep your kill speed up when you're mobbing. And specifically the, the CRA pieces and then moving away from more like event rings into full-on damage rings are things that will gain you a lot of that base attack. So if you're on a lower level, um, if everything is like around 17 stars, yeah, everything is giving around, what is it, like 20 to 30, um, well, closer to 20 usually, 20 to 30 attack on everything. But if you're making, you know, jump with the CRA going up to 19, going up to 21, well, now suddenly everything is like giving 50 to 60 attack. And now that takes a lot of the pressure away from all of your other pieces and from your accessories and that kind of thing. So you can kill the monsters still, you know, you can maintain your kill speed without lose, without going from two-shotting and three-shotting to four-shotting and five-shotting and that kind of stuff. And so that foundation, you don't want to, you don't want to lose track of that. Um, the order should always be like, make sure that you keep your kill speed. And then once you have your kill speed, then you can get more drops from the monsters that you kill, right? But as soon as you start losing kill speed in favor of trying to get more drop in Mezzo Obtain, well, now the drop in the Mezzo Obtain loses its efficiency because you're not getting those kills to get the drop in the Mezzo from, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you've kept track of like the different maps and like the monsters killed per hour and seen what the difference is there because other nightwalkers could probably give you a good comparison to see this is roughly how many uh, monsters per hour yeah, that you yeah. want to be able I, to I kill do look right? at the uh i do look at the kill per map mm -hmm. i'm doing farming in the best map possible already mm -hmm. but uh i'm still losing 2000 ma ish per hour because mm -hmm. i'm not strong enough yeah yeah, so I think, so if I'm looking with with that in mind and I'm looking at uh, the equips that you have and everything, there's definitely some some jumps that are not extremely expensive, but you do have to save up for them, of course. And that's mostly going to be to, like, switching into, like, higher Star Force CRA, like, going up to 21. And then, but that's the first thing that you can do because it's easy to get backups for, right? And then the next yeah. thing is going to be, like, rings um usually those are the the ones where you can get some extra damage to so like either hit slime or hit kind of treasure or both um and then with high stat there but again that's you know you don't want to get drop and mezzo from those pieces so it's going to be like all the other things combined a little bit which is very very nice and vague um but it's yeah your cra is probably going to be your foundation of getting the cra towards 21 is going to help yeah, you a I lot got, with the with the damage. I got the top and bottom to 21 last 5, 10, 15. But then mm -hmm. my friend was like, top 22. Yeah. And now I'm back here again. Yeah. Well, first I would say, um, fuck that friend for telling you what to do. Uh, second of all, uh, if you are going to tap something like past 21, if you, if you boom one, then try to use your money to try to get that one back. Don't do another one as well, because mm -hmm. if you're already down four stars, that's a bad position. But the only way to make that worse is by going down eight stars. Um, <laughs> but if you're down four stars and then maybe you get the other one back up to 18 or 19 or something and you only lose like three or two stars, that's manageable, right? But if you are a particle killing class and you have, you know, things flying around and you do need multiple hits to kill, it's and you 
do lose like an interval going from three shotting or something to four shotting. Now that might set up your whole rates for training and for mobbing and everything might all kind of come falling apart. So it's pretty scary. Um, for me personally, I would say it's pretty scary to to do that. Um, if your friend is like, I'm going to carry you in bosses for six months uh, to get you all the pitched if you boom, you know, then maybe you could do it. But <laughs> if someone else tells you what to do with your stuff, it becomes your problem, you know, once uh, once the stuff disappears. And like having 21 CRA or 17 CRA is a, is a pretty big jump because you, you probably already know how much weapon attack and everything you were getting from that, right? Yeah, it's like 160 if I count in the uh, percent. Yeah, for the yeah, for the for the sleep pieces, piece. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's that's just a huge difference. Um, the stat still goes up, of course, but the big thing is the is the is the attack. Uh, you probably still have the backups, but yeah, you'll now you just need time to get the money back. Um, the yeah, so I would say that's definitely like where I would send the money towards. And then the other thing is in, in general, you know, because. You're doing the black magic stuff. Did you do your BA with your current equips and everything? Yeah, I got 85 bill per second. 85 mm -hmm. bill per second. Okay. Yeah. So that is, yeah, that's within the cutoff, but it's not like you can consider soloing it or something. You're not, no. you're not quite at that point. But it is, uh, but you do army requirements, so that's good. Um, got the flame here, you got the two. Out of three WSE, yeah, you got your built-in IED, so that's pretty comfortable. And then you got the extra familiar boss, so that's nice. That's most people don't have that. What do you use when you are doing black mage? Do you use the the boss and then IED boss and or double healing? Healing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first three one. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. And then the, yeah, the crit I guess can help a little bit as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would I would definitely look towards getting that CRA back up and getting getting twenty one CRA pieces, um, and that's also yeah. If, yeah. if shiny does come <coughs> in March, I'm thinking of sending everything I have backups for to twenty one, and it should be sixty bill or something. And I don't. I'm hoping I can get sixty bill by then. So when you say everything, um, you're Except talking about... Except okay. Arcane. Okay, yeah. Um, and how would you do the, like, the superior Gallic stuff, for example? Um, I'll just uh, tap on the... Uh, and, and reinforce, and then I'll transfer it onto the superior. Because so I have two of the earrings. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a backup for the belt yet so i'll keep it at 20 after i transfer over mm -hmm. okay the ring i'll just use kana if i'm lucky enough <laughs> yeah that's uh yeah yeah you can that's why it's important to have the drop rate. yeah you've got the dominators yeah yeah you've hit all the lines on existing pieces <laughs> The, uh, on the Dominator and on the Slime, of course, the rings you want to lock, uh, the items you want to lock in the least. <laughs> yeah, typical. Yeah. yeah, if you want to, if you can end up with um, 21 CRA and then the other stuff like 20 star after a transfer, that'd be a big jump. From now, using Roar 3, and then Superior, and then, yeah, hopefully a Slime and a High Treasure, a High Star kind of treasure, right? If you get a, um, if you feel limited on the backups for the kind of treasure and stuff, try to use your, if you make it, if you can make 121, then you use it as a 21, right? Don't transfer it, but use it as 21, because you'll still want that as a ring, because, you know, the only alternative at that point is like an ET and, you know, well, <laughs> God knows those are incredibly hard to come by. Uh, and if you do get an ET and it goes, you'll have like kind of the ability to send it if you have a high star for kind of treasure as a, as a fourth ring, right? And then if the, 
if the if, uh, the ET goes, then you can just transfer the kind of treasure into superior. So then it'll, you know, you can always go back into that, right? Yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. uh, especially the black bean mark, uh, mark doesn't drop for me as well. Yeah, I'm trying I, to get a bunch of those. I hate that one, yeah. Yeah, you don't have any dineros or stuff like that, right? No, I don't do Kamasi. Mm -hmm. Are you doing um daily regular pink bean? Yes, with drop rate, full drop rate, uh, the yep. legion coupon and everything. Yeah, it's not great, but it's the best we've got. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, sadly, you can't really speed that one up too much, but, um, yeah, the only option is, like, monocle or just get lucky on an eye patch, so... I guess that's, yeah, that's the thing, is as long as you know which backups you can use, and you're doing that as much as possible, then, you know, you, you can give yourself a little bit more time because of the... because working on CRA first, but then once the, once the CRA gets to 21, then... I, then I would definitely look at where are the backups and what is the next project and then it's mostly going to be like earring and and belt first and then you can always see after that if you have money left or not. And then mm -hmm. if you have money left and no backups then you wait <laughs> and then maybe work on um, on bossing mule or work on a side character that needs a little bit more help and if you have backups and no money then you wait but then you know that the next time all the money you make probably will be able to go back into a project because hopefully you'll get some more backups in the time that you make the money as well for that so then you'll be able to pick more you know le less risky options for yourself okay but uh yeah it's unfortunate that the cra went back down of course <laughs> That's always uh hopefully you learned your lesson there. Yeah, I did. You're gonna be a twenty one star gamer now. Yeah, everyone learns in their own way and uh hopefully you won't become one of the people who just tells other people to tap things to twenty two when <laughs> <coughs> and there's other things that could be working on that are less risky first and then you can always go to the riskier stuff once you get all the stuff done. Because once you have more of the stuff done, you have more of a safety net, right? And then if something goes wrong, if something booms, it's not the end of the world because you have a lot of other pieces that are strong. So you won't lose your kill speed and you won't lose as much um, progress on the on the bossing. But if you boom one, that's also... that's For me, that's a clear stop. <laughs> And then, uh, and then you, your money just goes back to trying to make that back right. As long as you have like a general order in your, in your head of like this is the next thing I'm working on, this is the next thing I'm working on, and then getting more backups can kind of shift the order a little bit, but they're all kind of in the same group of stuff, right? Like boom, CRA to twenty one. That's like a group of things that you're working on, and how you're doing that specifically, doing it one star at a time, or waiting until you have enough money to send it all. Like that's kind of up to you. You know, as long as you know where the calculator is, you know, you know, you can see how much it's going to cost, and then you can decide for yourself how you're going to do it exactly. Um, but jumping from things to 21 to 22, when you're, the rest of your stuff is still pretty much 17 star, mathematically, just not a great idea. Like, if it hits, it's cool, because, you know, you can be done and everything, but it's, even if it does hit, it's not an efficient hit, right? So it makes more but sense to save more money, and then... Yeah. Oh, so would I ever tap off event? Because uh, the event start is going to be gone in a couple of days. Um, I'm a bit worried for my Black Mage run uh, next month as well, if I don't make any gains. Mm -hmm. um, well, I would, I would always look towards making like functional upgrades, right? So if you feel like you're kind of struggling with the kill speed, now with the mobbing and you're also struggling a little bit or you don't know for sure yet if the black mage is going to be good i definitely look and just practice and work on the mechanics with everyone on black mage like that's more important um but uh yeah we should be getting uh sunny sundays uh this week right so that we can see what's going to happen um we have had quite a bit of events back to back and everything so they're 
is a chance that we only get like a shitty upgrade event. Um, yeah, if you need the damage, I've been doing a little bit of off eventing and I was immediately reminded why I usually don't do that because it's just so much more expensive. <laughs> um, just tapped some like arcanes on a character and like 40 bill gone. It just, once you have the, I feel like you'd know whether you have the income to tap off event or not. Um, and if you're wondering, then you probably don't. If you, mm. you know, if you're bringing in like 15 to 20 bill a week and you're like, ah, fuck it, I just want to tap some stuff, you know? Like, that's whatever. Okay. And you know you're just going to make the money back in like a week or two and it's whatever. But if you, yeah, if your weekly income is like, would you say yours is like 10 bill? Yeah, 10 bill. Mm -hmm. If you spend, you know, 20 bill when on an event it would usually be like, 15 bill or something like it's not the end of the world because it's going you know what it's going towards right it's going towards progress it's functional as well it's like if you can keep up your kill speed you can maybe increase your rates even a little bit that can improve your six job progress um and then your your duoing with the bosses is going to be more solidified and you're going to make sure that you are you know a little bit more within that barrel minimum for the black mage and everything um, especially just, yeah, working the CRA back up to 21 in terms of efficiency. You're not doing anything crazy, you know, it's not like you're trying to tap 22 arcanes or something like that just to get like zero point <laughs> so much percent final damage. So, um, you, that would definitely be something worth considering. But there's, yeah, two things that work there, right? One is checking when the, what the next sunny Sundays are. And then yeah. seeing if there is uh, if there is no event whatsoever, and two would be to see uh, or three things I guess. So two things would be to see how the black mage practice goes and see if your guys are just like super hard struggling and like um, if you need to, everyone needs to bring up their damage a bit, um, seeing if that's necessary or not, right? And then three is to see uh, with the kill speed because you you said you you. You lose some kill speed. Do you know like what your percentage is of the theoretical kill speed that you're? Uh, I'm getting twelve thousand out of I think the if I'm one shotting with bats, it's fourteen point six k or something. Hmm. Yeah, fourteen point six k. So I'm missing two point six k pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's still a, that's a decent chunk that you're missing on that. 12 on 14.6, right? Yeah, it's like 82%. Because ideally, what I'm always looking for is see if you can get something like... Like... Yeah, 90 is already on the low end. I would say like working your way towards 90, but always towards 95% of the, of the map clearance. So if you put like and that would be quite hard. I think I would need to like double or triple my damage to do that. <laughs> yeah. It should mean though that a bunch more monsters can die. Yeah. So step one would be look looking at what the what the sunny Sundays are. If there's a thirty percent off or a five ten fifteen, then you know what to do, right? Yeah. Um, if there isn't one. Uh, we'd have to look at the size of the patch notes because we have, usually we have like six weeks, I think. Uh, how long is the strawberry farm? I think it's two weeks, at least from the Korean version. Two weeks? They had two weeks and then they got re-extended for some reason, I don't remember. But oh. it was originally two. Oh yeah, Mark. So it's got to be part of bigger stuff. And what's the other stuff in there? The. <sighs> The, like the Spiegelman or no, the Gold Richie thing, right? The safe, yeah, the lottery. Ermagerd. 
World Selection Organization, Burning World, Leap, Spiegel at Survey from Gold Richie, Save, and the new collaboration. But the new. Oh, the Gold Richie Safe. And it's possible it's only like. But even then, just a two week event being the highlight is kind of wild. <laughs> They said mid March, yeah. So it should be a, it should be a six week then. So we'll probably get six weeks ahead. There's got to be like a thirty percent off or a five ten fifteen, like within two forty eight and two forty nine, right? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there's got to be there's got to be at least one in those two. Because, um, well, I, I'm kind of equating them here because the 30% off and the 5, 10, 15 are, are pretty similar on CRA if, once you're, when you're not safeguarding, right? Yeah, yeah I did the CRA on 30%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can, for not safeguarding, you can equate them. As long as you're, once you start safeguarding, then 5, 10, 15 saves you a lot more money. So it could consider, yeah. You know, I would consider that. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit up to your patience whether you would want to wait until if there's none in the first batch. If you want to wait until the second batch, but there's got to be one in those two. And if for some reason there isn't, then you have my blessing to tap off even. <laughs> okay. For uh, yeah, because waiting for two version two fifty, waiting for uh, mid March. July, if... July. Well, yeah, then we have like the anniversary. First re update, right? Yeah. Should be like late late April, early May, and then be and going into June, going into the summer. So yeah, we'll uh, mid March. Yeah, it's possible that the if there is that extra shining, that it's kind of like in between the two events, right? Part because people were saying, was that part of the Minar? Picnic? It was part of Mina Picnic. Yeah. October 8th. So the second week into that, yeah. Yeah, 5, 10, 15 and 30% off at the same time, of course, is... Uh... So I, I would play patient here. I would... Um... I would focus on getting backups and getting options for the next Starforce event and focusing mostly on, on mechanics and on hands for Black Mage and try to get my damage from that and like coaching and timers and that kind of stuff. Um, and then really aim with more limited income, li aim towards just saving everything and kind of like hope for Shining to come out. And if there is no Shining on the second event, then I would just go whatever 30% or for... 5, 10, 15 there is, and then use that instead. Okay. That's what I would do. Yeah, you're gonna have an inventory with a whole lot of backups. Which is good, right? You want as many options as possible, so... Yeah, make sure you don't miss those... Limited weeklies with like the... Princess No and that kind of stuff. Those are very important. You keep doing And I don't need to keep all the... Uh... Black pink, uh, black pink belt, right? Those are useless anyway. Uh, yeah, once you get past a certain amount, if you're just gonna go for a 21, you're probably only gonna boom like three or four, maybe, you know? So, once if your inventory starts filling up so much that you don't, you know, you have to start th considering like which backups do you keep, then the belts and the earrings are probably the first ones to go because you have probably have the most of those and you can also replenish them more easily. If you do need them, like, last minute. Um, yeah. But as long as you have inventory space, then, you know, the more the merrier. Because you know, if it goes poorly, or if you decide to do a 30% off or over a 5, 10, 15, then that would end up being more booms, right? So then you want to calculate that in for extra backups. You know, a lot of people will only need, like, 3 or 4, but some people need 8, 9, 10, 11, and then yeah, you don't want to be out... So don't have a whole bunch of CRA pieces uh, pre-made into equips, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <coughs> Some people do that, and then their inventory starts 
bleeding in terms of you know you can't really hold on to other pieces then i thought oh, the yes, only yeah. reason people do that is because of uh, they try to get a good flame for free mm -hmm. yeah sometimes but then you know you don't want to get rid of the item afterwards if you don't get a good flame but then you know if you're holding on to three or four of each of the pieces now that's another 12 slots just filled and yeah now you almost want things to boom when you're going up to 21 stars so that you can free up your inventory. Well, at a certain point, you can also just extract them because you probably have like 100 plus pieces, so you have like 20 backups. So after a while, you if they don't hit a good flame, you can also just get rid of them, of course. Um, okay, that's events. Um, general order. Are there pieces where you're wondering what to do there for the future? Mostly... I'm considering, like, I'm still hoping for just, like, the pitch to bail me out of the Black Bean Mark not dropping. Mm -hmm. So I'm just hoping for pitch, to be honest. And I'm thinking of just tapping some of the CIA of events. So I can get some of the damage back before the uh, event if, uh, starts is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the, the thing with pitch is, we talked about this before in other sessions. Um... You can get safer high pitch and you can get backups for pitch by having alternatives, right? And this is why I like Sweetwater a lot is not because I like the content because it's honestly shit. But if you have a high star force, uh, let, let's say that you have, you know, what you have. You have um, uh, the Quartic Letter I accessory and then that's basically your only I accessory, right? Mm, I have a, I have one black bean. Wait, is it oh. not in there? Mm, no. Wait, did I miss I have it? Have a twilight mark. So I have, I do have a twilight and one black bean mark. I'm wearing. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't oh. have the 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 black bean mark. Oh, then uh, it's my bad. <laughs> no, no. Well, okay. So let's say you have a seventeen black bean mark, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, now if you get a eye patch, what do you do? What are your options? I'm tapping it to 21, and I'm keeping it and using it, I guess. Mm -hmm. That okay, would so be it's what a... I do with the eye patch. What's the... I don't know the number by Harper. Like, what's the chance that you don't see 21 if you only have one? Ooh. I never look at it before. Five, ten, fifteen, maybe. Uh, it's like <coughs> one move. <laughs> Safeguard. Yeah, it's it's a little hard to to say. Off At of, least uh, a one move median. Zero. Oh yeah, zero median. Boom is forty-two point four percent. So it's like. That's mm -hmm. I think that's roughly the chance, right? That you hit twenty one on the first one with no booms. Yeah. So that's not that's not horrible. Um, but what if you have instead in the moment you have like a twenty one eye patch or something? Uh, sorry, a twenty one uh, monocle. But then I would have to do Kabasi, which is dreadful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so one is one is horrible, and w the other one is um, horrible. Um, <laughs> These are like your two options. Well, one is if you do it long enough, you will get it, and the other one is even if you do it long enough, sometimes you'll still never get it. But also, maybe you'll get it on the first try, but maybe you'll you know get it after like a year and a half. And what? Commercy can allow you to do so I'm not telling you to do it but just like to give you as an option is that it will allow you to get more options on what to do with a pitch when you do get it right so if you are stuck now with a 17 black bean mark because you can't get more and you get a eye patch and you're trying to go for 21 well, let's say that you ha that you hit 19 on the eye patch then it's already a pretty good upgrade or let's say that you hit 20 on the eye patch you know um, and then you boom 20 to 21 now it's going to probably feel pretty bad because you had a piece that was already so much better than 
than what you have right now. Plus, if you even get more black bean marks, and even if you do get a 20 star black bean mark, even that will have been worse than the 20 eye patch that you had, right? Yeah. So, you, I mean, you have to kind of be okay on a certain level with needing to make a really big jump for it to become worth it. But if you you can utilize sweet water to give yourself more of a backup in case something goes wrong along the way, which you know it, it inevitably will. Um, but then, if something does boom, you can use it to walk it up. Like for example, if you have one seventeen um, right now and you get an eye patch, I would also not say just tap the eye patch to twenty one. I would say. Well, get the let's see if you can get the eye patch to like 18, and if it goes to 18, then see if you can get the the bean mark to 18, right? Hmm. But then you would be spending double the money. Be spending double the money, but you would be making sure that even if one of the two booms and one of the two probably will, then whatever you're left with is going to be stronger than it was before. So you can at least use it as an upgrade. Okay. So you don't go for like the best of the best potential and the best of the best uh, flame, right? Because you know that the Star Force might switch to another piece. So let's say that you do get like an 18 um, eye patch. What does that mean? That basically means that next time you get a black bean mark, now you can like try to tap it to 20 without feeling bad, right? Yeah. And if you, and if you do tap it to 20, now you can tap your eye patch without feeling bad. Because then if the eye patch doesn't go, well, at least you gain stars and now you have a better eye. And if the eye patch does go, well, now you have a really strong secondary eye piece that can have drop or mezzo on it and it can help your bats kill. And you know that your stronger piece, your damage piece is 21 and you can use that for a long time. Okay. So that way you can still kind of, even though it's a different equip, you could because it goes into the same slot, you can use it as a, as a backup in those equips that are really rare to get backups for, because you don't have that many options. Mm, the backup, I feel like it's a bit hopeless to uh, find yeah. the backups. Mm -hmm. It's like Twilight Marks and Berserks is also a bit of a shitty situation, right? Yeah. Well, I, I try, I'm trying to like kind of avoid similar situation like with the with the CRA, right? Where you're already kind of close, but then you're going for maybe a little bit more risk than you need to, and then you you're not able to capitalize on the gains that you've already made because you're trying to go just a little bit further. Yeah, I think it's just the friend is uh, it's part of me, but out of the front like he's yeah <laughs> he's really bad at the game <laughs> he's and, been oh, playing for like five years i think um mm -hmm. playing a demon adventure somehow mm -hmm. still going on after laughs and a bunch of equips are like 12 star right now mm -hmm. funny. and that's the person whose keeps, advice uh, you were taking on uh what to tap uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you were looking for an excuse to tap is sound what it sounds like yeah, I didn't know that until I looked up sure? his equips. <laughs> and you're like, oh, why did I listen to uh, that? Because <laughs> he's been playing for five years. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> surely uh, he knows better than me. <laughs> gotcha, yeah, yeah. And then you see how he's been playing for, for the last yeah, so five years. So now he's years. even weaker than me in like a two months account. I'm uh, like, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got to look at whose uh, advice you're, you're taking out. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, yeah, once you get into that part with like pitched and maybe daybreak stuff and, you know, want to start really contemplating your options because some, especially, yeah, if I play a bunch of different characters and then some characters will hit something and then that's cool, but a bunch of characters will not hit something and then you need a, a contingency plan, you need some kind of backup. Okay. And that can be uh, that can be rough because the time in between pitch backups can be a long time. I'm also you get one, you just boom. thinking of uh, making a dawn warrior as mm -hmm. a boss mute. 
Yeah. But I'm holding back because I'm hoping for the next hyper burn to make it into a C10 no a hop lotus um, meal. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm feeling like maybe I should just make it and get the money from now to then. I was just sitting on a bunch of uh, money for no reason. Yeah, I mean, a lot of characters can get to uh, just like CRA and including, you know, like H Mag and that kind of thing. Uh, you can get to that point oh, uh, very quickly and start making an easy few hundred mil extra, like six, seven hundred mil or something extra per week very quickly. Um, the, the main question is just for yourself, you know, do you feel like you have the time in the week available for that, right? Because I think once you're. If your rates go up a little bit and you can see much more in terms of like six job development and more fragments and stuff like that coming on your main character, are you, you know, do you feel like you're just going to grind more then or are you still going to take time out of your week away just to do the bossing then? Would I gain more damage from grinding six job or just getting the money from the meals to fund that? Yeah, that's a that's a that's a really rough one. Of course, there are price points where your efficiency and your money definitely goes down. Um, and if there are no backups to tap on, then there's nothing you can upgrade, right? So, but if you don't have the money and then you do get a backup, but and there's no money to work with, the thing is, if if you do like grinding for long periods of time and everything, you will make the money eventually. Like it'll it will come, you know. Uh, as long as you go around the map and loot every once in a while, of course. Um, the uh, but when it comes to the to the bossing and everything, there is definitely more with every single boss meal you're adding. There is more initial investment cost unless you're doing it like I was mentioning before, a little bit more the organic way of like, oh, you have some leftover nodes and you don't really need them anywhere. You throw them onto a new character, you know, from like event nodes or something. Uh, and you have some cubes and some flames that you can't use anywhere and you just work on a new WSE and maybe get some flames on all of the you know the boss accessories in the beginning where you can get a lot of flame score very cheap um, on a new character and then you you know character gets event exp and stuff and suddenly is like 220 225 it's you can make a character just from 200 to 225 very easily these days right with uh, a lot of the events yeah. Um, and then you could be like, oh, and now I can suddenly start making like six, seven hundred mil a week very easily. Um, that would be worth, I think. There's a few things that give you a lot of value. Um, and one is having like ID familiars. Two is, I think, going for reinforced Golux. It's very cheap and uh, pretty fast. And way, way cheaper and, and way faster and not that much weaker than, uh, than superior Golux. And uh, third thing is getting your characters in a, a boss mule guild so that you have at least like one skill maxed out, preferably two. And then you can be a lot stronger within a half hour without really needing as much funding on those characters. So if you can get access to that, then you can slowly build up bossing mules, but always look at the overall picture of how much time you're spending and look at, you know, how much of your time is going towards mules and is being blocked in. Because to a lot of people, you know, if it's six bossing mules and they're all half an hour a week, that's three hours a week. To a lot of people, that's not a lot of time, but to some people it can be, right? And if you have a limited amount of time to play and you already lock a lot of that time with like dailies here, one weekly, because if you're doing six uh, weekly, six character weeklies, they're basically dailies now, right? So now you have to do one every day if you want to keep it up throughout the week. Um, you have to find some time to AFK to get your kill skills back for the next week. You know, it, it, it starts becoming like a, a man, uh, an economy manager game almost. Where, you know. So, it could be much more simple to have like a few bossing mules and to have just your main character that you're grinding on. Because, and the sixth job will keep giving you substantial gains for quite a while. Um, you got the stats, uh, the Hexa stat one as well that you can level, right? Um, but you can, yeah, you can still make significant upgrades until you're like passing level 20 or something in your highest level skills. Um, then you'll definitely see some diminishing returns. But, uh, but up until then, you know, the money you're making and all the fragments and everything, that's still, that's still good gains. You can probably mostly rely on event creation, 
uh, or in character creation events, right? Like the burns and that kind of stuff, or really strong sets of like uh, level up potions or like bonking and stuff like that, right? That that or bonking type events that get you past 200 uh, to see like, okay, there's no real character that needs it. If I get all of these resources into one character, then I can make a boss meal out of that. And then it's kind of like a deconstructed uh, burn event, kind of, right? Um, and then you can make boss mules around those type of events, but if there's not something specific like that going on, I probably just focus mainly on the on the main to make sure you can get your backups, you can get your kill speed up, you can, you know, keep training in the higher okay. level areas. Yeah. Okay. That sounds bad in that. Yeah, six is chapters that? is good is good progress, is good damage. And but they it goes hand in hand with getting better gear, right? If you have really good gear, then you'll see way more gains from just a little bit of six chop progress. But if you have really good six chop progress and then you upgrade your gear, then you'll see a bigger jump in damage once you upgrade your gear, right? So they, they go hand in hand. I don't know if there's like one right way and one wrong way. There's it, there's always some balance, right? That's, that's probably ideal. But where it is exactly that, yeah, that it goes into time management and what you like to do for the game and etc. Yeah, it's a lot of uh, also the Gildium doing with. Mm -hmm. He made his new main uh, the same time I did this mm -hmm. one. And he's making 20 bill every week and he's funding all his ca uh, the character, his arm. Mm -hmm. Immediately 21 star everything and I'm like, hmm, maybe getting more money. That's like the pressure of getting more money came from. Which is why I'm like thinking of making more boss meals, but mm -hmm. maybe it's just better to stay like this and grind on their main. Uh, eventually, if you keep playing, you're just gonna get more high level characters from events, you're gonna be able to do more bosses with the main, and you're gonna see more money incoming even from killing the same bosses in a smaller party, which is gonna give you more crystal value. So, eventually, it's going to trend upwards, right? As long, well, as long as you don't like keep booming all of your equips from 21 to 22. <laughs> Uh, like eventually you'll just you'll just see more options in your account and there'll be a hyper burn or there'll be some free item that gets given away or there'll be a bunch of flames and you know if you if you get 300 black flames and you only have abzo gear there's only so much that can really do for you but if you're full um, uh, full arcane and you have some pitch and then you get 300 black flames well now suddenly those items have a different value right so yeah. if, if you set yourself up to be in a lot of situations for the game then you can take event items and um you know event shop items and that kind of stuff then you can take those and use them more optimally by by being yeah available for that so that's why i like to have some boss mules at like the lower end some boss mules at the lotus and damien and one boss mule maybe he's trying to go beyond that is more considered like a side character maybe going towards hard lotus one main character is doing like c and stuff and black mage you know and then whatever comes your way you'll have somewhere in your account that it can go and give you efficient progress i see just stop booming yeah that's the <laughs> best <laughs> advice thank you just richard. hit just hit yeah richard always with the great advice <laughs> So how's it? Uh, how's it been other than that? Like within the guild, within the alliance, maybe within the Twitch chat or something. You feel like you have, um, like support on on questions, and you feel like you can you can keep moving forward. Yeah, yeah. I also get a lot of help from uh, my guildies. A lot of mm -hmm. them are like long time players. So. Okay. And then you're using the discords as well, from what you said, right? This got I mostly only use for either the class Discord mm -hmm. or the, to find a party. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as long as you you know you found the where the information uh, comes from or where the resource comes from, I guess maybe a better word there. Yeah. Okay. So is there is there anything um, left where you have a a question mark? Not that I can think of right now. Familiar here, you get your legion. Yeah, legion's also slow and steady. Well, not that slow, but steady <laughs> growing. <laughs> Don't want to call it slow if you're already almost 7k. 
And yeah, I was thinking of doing 8k, but then like I'll just use events. Mm -hmm. Too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, it's about the time efficiency, right? There are a lot of events these days coming up, and the, the strawberry event is a, another example of a bunch of EXP that you're going to be able to get, right? So if you yeah, and then the... I'm going to feel bad if I don't have anything uh, to take advantage of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, don't, you almost don't want to go too fast on some characters because then you lose your window of efficiency, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to... To check what next character is that gets uh, the benefit of the big item. But this is going to scale up to 260, right? The strawberry event. So any kind of 250 plus character for myself even should be uh, should be decent. <laughs> Do I get 20 more levels on my uh, Legion? Yeah, they want you to get 69, 69. <laughs> Just to take the screenshot and then... <laughs> immediately level over, yeah. Strawberry is too shiny. Oh. Uh, I thought it said here. Du, du, du. Someone in chat said so. Yeah, but neutralizing is always trolling, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is up to 220. What was the thing then? There was something that would give EXP further. Mm. Was it the Minar Picnic? So I can't think of anything that's 260. I thought it had a similar... Two fifty-nine. No, that's not in here. Rip. Oh, maybe just imagine that. The EXP um, coupons are always nice, though. The VIP coupons. There's a lot of <laughs> stuff. We don't have a, like the double experience and double drop events anymore, but now we have so many buffs. Yeah, that's and, gonna uh, be sad as well. I was hoping I, I'm gonna get to 275 before the haste event is gone, but mm -hmm. yeah, uh, most likely I'm gonna be uh, 273. Yeah, it's gonna be a hidden kind of nerf that most people are not expecting to see your general rates go down with that. It's gonna be like half of my rates <laughs> right now, which is awful. <laughs> yeah, you, you've got the level uh, level three Evan and stuff like that. Yeah, mm. I do. I remember making it without an event was all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went back to my Evan when I had finished it to 210 and there were like no... I, <laughs> I had like no items on there and a bunch of the items were still epic and rare. I was like, how did I ever get this to 210? I don't even know. That was before we had all the special events where you could just get free EXP from the air. Like, you had to actually train the character, so... The update page says up to 260 for us. Oh. And here? Oh no. Here it says... Oh, here it doesn't say... In the preview? Mm. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's probably where I saw it then. Yeah. <coughs> For those of you under level 260, defeat monsters to obtain fertile soil and enter the strawberry farm. Yeah. Well, maybe it's not two weeks as well then. Maybe it's a different amount of time. Oh, we'll see in the... <laughs> we'll see in the updates. Notes. Is that gonna be this Sunday? Um, should be patch this Wednesday. Wednesday. It's like the, what is it, the 7th of, yeah, the 7th, yeah. Because the 6th will be the last day, so then we have to double check all of our, you know, all of the UI and everything. Make sure you pick up all of the identisk exploration, in-depth exploration, all of those rewards. 
and the mm, festival yeah, bonus rewards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's best to not li leave it for till the very last moment. <laughs> it does feel very weird when I played. Yeah, it's just the progression is so fast. A lot of mm -hmm. the things are so new as well. Yeah, if you're really, well, yeah, during a summer event or a winter event, if you're really participating in most of the stuff, you get so much stuff. Especially, this is one of the first times where they, um, instead of having a lot of the items in the event shop and then having to buy them with the coins, instead they put them in the in-depth exploration instead. If you add all of those items up, it's the value is crazy, right? The all of those notes, like all of those flames. flames. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you <laughs> if you count them for 750 mil each like they are in the mezzo shop which is uh, <laughs> ridiculous of course <laughs> but if you if you value them as that then yeah you got billions and billions for free hundreds of billions even yeah so until i i make new uh, damage gear and i can replace my current damage gear into drop gear but mm -hmm. until then my Drop gear will be the same, mostly. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little more rough for you because of the bats. Um, so you have to have a little bit more pressure on your, quote unquote, your hybrid gear, like the the gear that is there for bossing and for mobbing. That gear will have to push a little bit harder. But yeah, if the if the backups are not there, stuff like the CRA and hopefully a kind of treasure ring can can go higher and everything like that. Mm. I guess I'm not farming in Shangri-La. <laughs> not, not, yeah, just not as quickly. If you're leveling that quickly and you're progressing that quickly, then also the sacred power is going to have a lot of trouble keeping up, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sacked right now. I want to do uh, a Saren as well, but yeah. I'm sacked quite hard. Yeah, if you have fragment attacks and you have sacked, yeah, that's just, yeah. You need to. You just need more time. You can't really speed ahead. Also, there. have to put a, a bunch of arcane force into the uh, hyperstar to keep up with black mage. <laughs> yeah, I saw. Yeah, you were uh, you were a little bit lower there as well. Yeah, that's the final damage. Even with event uh, event buff and with hyperstat, you'll still. Can you get to thirteen twenty with all of that, or are you still a bit lower? Uh, I I got to enough. With level 14 hypersats. Level 14 hypersats, yeah. Okay, oh, that is worth it though, because that is uh, that is where your final damage comes from. And you included that in the BA, right? With that setup? Yeah, yeah, I, I did, yeah. I did. I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good, yeah. Yeah, because I noticed, uh, probably wasn't you, but I had a, another question on YouTube channel before, is like w whether people include like the arcane power and the sacred power and stuff when they're damage testing on the BAs for the bosses, but if you're gonna go, if you're at the boss or higher, then you wanna include it to make sure that it's, you know, relevant. But if you're below, or if, you, if you're below it, then you need to um, include it because you need to s check if just changing the power would be enough, you know, damage to meet the requirement, or if you need to level, or if you need to do both to be able to to meet the requirements for the boss, right? If you're yeah. over, then you can add it as well because you can see, um, you can then apply the bonus damage. But if you're on the number, then you don't need to include it because that's kind of expected. But yeah, if you're starting to do Saren or something and you're 60 below, then you definitely want to add that because if you don't, you're going <laughs> to get a nasty surprise once you're actually fighting the boss. It's also funny in the Black Mage Discord, Mm -hmm. How six job inflate the damage so much? I see yeah. guys posting a hundred build per second, or even a hundred twenty build per second, and people are not even taking them because it's like uh, I can mm. do better than that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually you think if everyone gets stronger, that just means that way more people get to run. But usually that just means that the people's expectation just goes up, yeah. and then they just yeah. You still only take like the strongest people. It, to be fair, yeah, if, if everyone has the same similar level of skill, uh, and then you take people with higher damage, I'll have a better chance of, of clearing, right? But I'd rather 
take someone who's on their second character and has already liberated a character who's a bit weaker than someone who has more damage on paper but they have no skill because I did a few uh, pickup group hard vihila runs and if I see how people run that boss with uh, with Pug where they just sit in the corner and just die out um, yeah if I have to put my life in their hands for black mage then I don't think so <laughs> That's going to be a rough one. Alright. Um, yeah, a lot of it comes down to you to uh, put the hours in and to get the backups, but I hope the black mage goes well because you already know the people as well, so that's, that's good that you have uh, some personal knowledge already, not just random dudes from a Discord, right? Yeah. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I hope the black mage goes well. Yeah, if you do find that you're missing a lot of damage, then definitely look towards the next event and get to tapping. But until then, make as much money as you can so that you give yourself uh, options. And uh, yeah, 21 is good, okay? 21 is really good. <laughs> Don't worry too much about 22. 20, 20, and 20, 20 and 21. If you have uh, all of your stuff 20 and 21, you'll be extremely strong. And then, okay. <laughs> yeah, once you've been clearing bosses for a while, then you can you can kind of reward yourself with some 22s eventually. But don't try to try to run before you can walk. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Um. If there's anything else, well, you know where to find me because you've been in the chat a lot, so yeah. you can I'll always ask anything you need there. Thank any you. any last questions or any shout outs you want to do? No, uh, I have to join up like mage practice now. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was uh, keeping an eye on the time, <laughs> so I want you to not be late if you're getting uh, getting ready for the practice and everything. All right, I wish you best of luck and uh, let us know how it went in the chat. Thank you. And, see you uh, uh, on the next stream. Yes, we'll do. We'll see you around in chat and everything. All right. Bye. Okay. Have a good one. Bye bye. All right. Yeah, unlucky, of course, that uh, I was like, you need to work on the CRA. And he was like, well, I had the CRA. <laughs> <coughs> that is unfortunate. But that also means that he was investing the money in the right place. Just maybe not exactly uh, as far as we would have wanted it. Um, so yeah, yeah, you gotta get those backups. You gotta get, uh, you gotta give yourself the opportunities. If you feel like you have a lot of time in the week available and you do want to play more and more and more and more, then just add more bossing meals. But remember, if you invest a lot of into those bossing meals, then you're gonna feel like you need to capitalize on those as well. So just be cognizant of that. If you're okay with that, and you have the time to spare, and you want to do that, then bossing meals are of course a great way to make money. But if you're gonna invest 10 to 15 bill into a bossing mule it's going to take a while to get that money back if you're just making a lower level bossing mule cra h mag that kind of stuff that's pretty cheap to make a bossing mule for and that can start making money back pretty quickly but they might not be as fast per character right so slowly start building the snowball once you have the time and then you know if a character you're not really liking the bossing anyway that you can always just get rid of it uh because you won't be balls deep invested into it so it won't feel as bad if you let a character go and if you do like a character and there's a burning event coming maybe you can be like oh i want to play this character even more boom uh hyper burn in there maybe even get to 260 maybe even unlock six job right maybe even get up to like hard lotus that kind of stuff so you can maybe get yourself uh damage black hearts because eventually that pitch boss set hopefully will be yours and if you have the ability to get some black hearts on a somewhat uh reliable basis then that'll also allow you to increase that set bonus a little bit faster and of course that boss damage and ied potential is really nice especially once you are considering breaking your superior set but now we're getting a little bit ahead of what this session was about <laughs> um so yeah everyone else who's in a similar situation hopefully that helped out and uh, if it didn't let me know what kind of stuff you're struggling with if you want one of these sessions as well, check out coaching in the Twitch chat or check out the description of the video and check the info there. I'll be drawing the winners for the January session soon. So keep an eye out on your Discord messages if you left the message in January, which I saw a lot of people do compared to the previous months. So keep an eye out. And 
Yes, yes, yes. And, uh... Oh, yeah, I just want to say sorry for, like, no uploads, basically, for the better part of 10 days. But I've been pretty sick, as you can hear. I'm still not 100% over it. It's been pretty bad flu. Um... But, uh, yeah, trying to get back into the full swing of it, so hopefully you'll see more YouTube uploads and that kind of stuff. So, thanks for checking it out, and uh, see you on the next video, or over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash Carter. Trying to stream there every day again, <laughs> after a uh, <laughs> quote-unquote break. And, um, yeah, thanks for checking it out. See ya, bye.